This house in Brandenburg, just outside Berlin, is expected to be finished in four months. Today, Susanne Pradel and her architect are meeting with the heating installers. One thing the owner knew she wanted right from the beginning was a heat pump. She made a deliberate decision against conventional gas or oil heating. We're concerned about the future. We were always interested in energy conscious construction anyway, so we wanted to put it to work in our own house. We discussed it with our architect and the technician, and we felt we were all well advised. Non renewable resources will run out someday. We're very enthusiastic about this and hope it will last a long time. For today's heat pumps, even heating a house this size is no problem. And the pump will heat not only the air by means of floor heating, but water too. For that, pipes have to be sunk 75 meters into the ground to draw the heat from the earth. Here is where the pumps are manufactured, at Stiebel Eltron in Lower Saxony. Technical director Kai Schiefelbein says they're building more and more of them. And he says, with double-digit growth, the heat pump business is starting to be profitable. However, that wasn't always the case. Back in 2004, we were selling heat pumps primarily to customers who wanted an ecological and technically sophisticated heating system and didn't care how much it cost. Now the market has grown to the point where we're gradually attracting even ordinary customers who want comfort and economy. The company has been developing heat pumps for 30 years. While the pumps have become cheaper, the customer still has to fork out close to 8,000 euros for the pumps and another 8,000 for the drilling. After the initial outlay, the pumps are a good investment. In a new building, let's say in five to eight years, the heat pump will have paid for itself. And that's an important selling point. Still, the market share of heat pumps in Germany is just 10%, not enough for Schiefelbein. Production is going at full blast, and they need more space. The new plant is next door. The company is investing madly in expansion. This factory cost 8 million euros. Tell me the truth. If you'd known how bad the economic crisis was going to get, would you have made the same decisions? Of course. We opened factory number one, the one next door, in 2007. And we needed it desperately the following year, too. We could never have produced the number of heat pumps we needed in the old facilities. We decided in 2007 to add an extension here. The local economic and political movers and shakers celebrated the new investment with what you might call a drum roll. Celebrations of capital outlay are rare these days. It means there's now room for 100 new positions. But filling them won't be easy. Good engineers are hard to come by. Back to Susanne Pradel. She'll be paying some 20,000 euros for the heat pump. She and her architect say it's money well spent and good for the environment too. Because it's simply the most effective and most modern means of heating a house. It has no CO2 emissions and doesn't need fossil fuels. The Pradel family will move into their house in September, just in time to start enjoying their brand new heat pump. <laughs>